The furnaces at this giant steel works are almost cold tonight. Switched off yesterday morning, they'll never make steel again and 1,500 jobs in this already depressed corner of northeastern France will die with them. They've erected a giant SOS on a hillside above the plant, but the truth is no help is coming. They are just a tiny proportion of the 100,000 French men and women who've lost their jobs since the beginning of this year. President Hollande had been elected on a promise this plant wouldn't close. Just four months ago, he was here reaffirming that. Je viens donc devant vous, uh... I'm fully committed, he said. I don't want to be elected on a promise one day and then not dare come back because I didn't keep it. If he did dare return today, he'd be greeted by a plaque that declares trahison, betrayal, with his name clearly marked as the culprit. He promised um, uh, a future for the workers and now the future um, is finished. It's why there's a lot of people is very uh, angry of this situation. The problems faced by steel and other heavy industries are of course Europe-wide, they're not unique to France. But when you create an industrial wasteland like this, you have to replace it with something. And that is proving as intractable a problem for the current French president as it was for the last. And it's a problem that is destabilizing governments across the Eurozone. Protests turning violent tonight in Madrid, as Spain released quite horrendous unemployment figures, three and a half thousand jobs are going a day, every day. Their population is smaller than ours. Six million out of work there is the equivalent of eight million in the UK. No wonder they're angry. The financial crisis in the Eurozone has eased, but the crisis of growth, jobs and people's livelihoods is getting rapidly worse. And as it does, so much of the continent's industrial base is being laid waste. James Mates, ITV News, Florange, northeastern France.